Alright guys, what is good and welcome back to another video today. So guys, before I start this video, I just want to say this one thing. I'm only making this video to raise awareness for this kind of stuff because I don't feel like anybody should ever have to go through it. Honestly, it's very scary and it's really affected me as a person. I'm having trouble right now. It's almost like trauma if you know what i mean yeah guys i hope to god none of you guys shall ever have to go through something like this even though no one was hurt it's still very scary and i would never wish it upon anyone even my worst enemy but yeah guys let's get right into the video <laughs> Alright guys, I just want to start off by saying this is really not a video that I was looking forward to making. I mean, I want to post this because I want to raise awareness for this and I want to resolve it. It's like one of the things that always affected me. <coughs> but yeah guys, this video, I'm just going to explain the story. Alright guys, it's 1.24pm yesterday on Friday. Um, I was in my fifth period class at the time. We had just gotten back from our lunch because it starts at 12.39. I was, I, we were just messing around. I mean, it was Friday. The class was just starting and um, we heard this announcement. And it was saying lockdown, lockdown. This is, this is not a drill. It don't, it didn't say this is not a drill. It said lockdown. Please, tr please follow your emergency procedures. Lockdown. And then that was the end of the announcement. For about, I'd say a minute. Everybody started uh, walking around because they were confused. <sighs> Can't do this. I pray for all of you guys out there. Seriously. Guys, I seriously have to take a break. I can't talk about this for too long. I'll be back. A few moments later. I finally ended up sitting down after everybody had been seated away from the door and something clicked. This feeling I had never felt before. I'm even getting goosebumps talking about it. I mean, I can't even explain what I was feeling at this time. Something clicked and I saw my friend. It's almost, it almost is like you're going beast mode. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's... It's very scary. He lifted the door up like this. He lifted it up like this and shoved it against the door. So at that point, then boom, I finally knew what was actually happening. I got up and the only part I remember is getting up from out from under this table and I ran and I hit my knee on a computer card. I didn't feel it. I did not feel it. I, I remember it, but man, I did not feel that at all. I ran and I started throwing chairs, like seriously. I picked up a freaking chair by like the leg, like this, and I just started throwing it. I literally threw it at the door. I took two, both in one hand, boom, boom. I was throwing it at the door. I and I just remember my big friend, like he's about six foot, you know who you are if you're watching this video. And me and him just, boom, we're shoving stuff onto this door, right? All of this time, I'm getting goosebumps. Like, I feel like I could do a backflip. Once the door is barricaded, my friend had dove under the table and we were back in our hiding spots. Now, I knew a couple of girls that were sitting diagonal to me because um, they were all, they were texting their moms and I was about to do the same thing, but I was in such shock. And honestly, I couldn't believe what was happening. But then this feeling set in and it is fear. I've never felt this before. Doing a flip off the diving board for your first time is scary, sure. But this, no, this is literally f like fearing your life. Guys, I literally have, look at my legs right now. Look at my legs. I have so much goosebumps. Oh my God. I, okay, re resume the story. Okay, let's do it. At this point, we're all sitting there and we're being quiet. Now, my teacher, my teacher was sitting kind of beside me because I was sitting cradled up like this and my teacher was facing this way. There's many things that should definitely be changed. The door in my school is always locked by default. You can open it from the inside, but you have to, you would have to manually unlock it for it to stay unlocked because it locks by itself. I hope you guys know what I mean. But my teacher didn't lock the door. My teacher did not lock the 
fucking door. I was genuinely scared at that point. The door wasn't locked. We had barricaded that, that bitch so hard, man. It was... Oh, God, it's so... Oh! God, I need to chill. We had barricaded it, but I knew that's not enough to stop an intruder. The... Now, at this point, guys, we started hearing sirens. Police, ambulance, FBI, CIA. I don't know what the f was happening, man, but there were sirens. About four minutes into this thing, time is going so slow. About two minutes in, I felt like I had been sitting there for probably 30. The lockdown was only 36 minutes long. It was enforced at 1.24 and lifted at exactly 2 p.m. I do have footage of this lockdown, law enforcement, opening the door. I will show it to you, but it's gonna be extremely low resolution. Just, I don't wanna get into any trouble at all. I'm literally making this video because I, it's one of the main things that I fear. Like sometimes, I guess you can say it keeps me up. But yeah, from this point on, guys, we're sitting there, we hear the sirens, my teacher's going. This is real. Does anybody else think this is real? She will not be quiet. Her phone is on the other side of the classroom and it's not on silent, it's binging. It's f***ing ringing, bro. And she has, is she scared to get up? I mean, God, I couldn't move. I was scared to get up, but she needed to silence her phone. Because if there was a person in that building, that is literally a key message to someone being in that room. And that is not what you want. Once the phone was retrieved by my teacher, my friend had been sitting kind of diagonal to me. So right here, if I was here, he's right here. He's taking her phone like this, like this, and he's silencing it. He's silencing it the whole time. He's shaking, he's like this. Because when you're that nervous, you can't really control yourself. He finally manages to get it silenced. Once her phone is silenced, everybody wouldn't stop talking, even my teacher. I was so scared. Man, I respect everybody that I see, no matter, no matter what. I turned to my teacher and I literally said, I need to shut That's the only way I could bring my point across. And nobody said a word as soon as I said that. But constantly we're hearing this once law enforcement was had gotten there and came to our room, it was about 15 minutes later. Police department, we're here to help. And my teacher, mind you that everything that you should not do, she did. She, go, she goes, I am not trying to be funny. How do we know it's you? She literally screamed it. Are you kidding me? We all looked at each other and we're like, we're, we're gonna die. There's no way. Because if that's the shooter, if that's the shooter, we're all dead. Luckily, it was the police department. They had opened the door, and from this video's point of view, you cannot see the weapon. It looked to be something automatic, obviously. How'd we do? You guys are good. Sir? You can pull your screen off the ESPN on the door so you know we've been here. We're all safe. Thank you, good. Thank you, sir. I'm guessing an M4. When everything was over, it was almost 2 p.m. There's nothing more sincere than pure friendship, guys. I remember dropping my books and running towards my friends, though. In the fear that I would never see them again, I never ever felt that before. We had a big reunion for about 30 minutes. <laughs> Please show support on this video. There's nothing in the world that would make me more happy. Smash the subscribe button, guys. If you want to see more videos, I usually do pranks and stuff if you are new to the channel. Please subscribe, guys. Tell me in the world. Follow my social medias. That will be in the description below. Yeah, that's about all I have for this video. I appreciate all you guys for listening. Once again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.